Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from limits. Here we have to evaluate real a. If limit x tending to 9, 9a plus tan x minus 9 minus ax over 3x plus tan x minus 9 minus 27 raised to the power 1 minus x over 1 minus root x equal to 1 over 256. So let's get started with our power exponent. I will simplify 1 minus x over 1 minus root x. So I can write this is 1 minus root x whole square. 1 is 1 square over 1 minus root x a square minus b square. So we can write 1 plus root x times 1 minus root x over 1 minus root x. Now these two brackets will be over. We will get 1 plus root x as our power. Now I will write limit. So limit x tending to 9. I will write 9a minus ax. The last term of numerator plus tan x minus 9 divided by 3x minus 27 plus tan x minus 9 and whole power will be 1 plus root x. RHS is 1 over 256. Now I can see a is common here, 3 is common here. Let's take common. So I will write limit x tending to 9 a in bracket 9 minus x plus tan x minus 9 over 3 is common then x minus 9 plus tan x minus 9 and exponent or power will be 1 plus root x. RHS 1 over 256. Now I will divide our numerator and denominator by x minus 9. Let's divide. Limit x tending to 9 a times 9 minus x over x minus 9 plus tan x minus 9 over x minus 9. This was numerator. Now the turn of denominator. So I will write 3 times x minus 9 over x minus 9 plus tan x minus 9 over x minus 9. Power will be 1 plus root x. RHS is 1 over 256. Let's cancel. So from first term position, I will cancel these two by writing over there minus 1. Here it will be cancelled directly. So by writing 1 over there. Now I will write limit x tending to 0. Tan x over x. This value is always 1. This is what we know. As per our problem, I will write limit x tending to 9 tan x minus 9 divided by x minus 9. This will become 1. So let's apply. So I will be writing our LHS as minus a plus 1 over 3 plus 1 power. Once x is tending to 9, our power will tend to 4. 1 plus root 9, 1 plus 3, that is 4. So I will write power 4 and RHS is 1 over 256. Or I can write minus a plus 1 whole power 4 and denominator is 4 power 4. Right hand side it is 1 over 256. It is also 4 power 4. 
so we can cancel denominators from both sides so it is 1 minus a whole power 4 equal to 1 so from here i can write 1 minus a whole power 4 minus 1 equal to 0 or i can write 1 minus a whole square and then whole square minus 1 square equal to 0 difference of two squares formula we will apply so it will give us 1 minus a whole square plus 1 and in second bracket 1 minus a whole square minus 1 rhs is 0 so from first bracket i can write 1 minus a whole square equal to negative 1 and from second curly bracket i will be writing 1 minus a whole square equal to 1 let us solve both the equations so i can write here 1 minus a whole square equal to negative 1 and 1 minus a whole square equal to 1 so from this equation i can conclude a square cannot be negative for real a so complex solutions or complex a values will be there so we can reject rejected now from second equation i can write 1 minus a equal to plus minus 1 so i will be writing 1 minus a equal to plus 1 1 minus a equal to minus 1 so from this equation a will be 0 and from second equation a will be equal to 1 plus 1 so 2 so finally we are having two a values and both are real so a equal to 0 and 2 now question is is this value 0 and 2 both are true for our real solutions or real values of a let's check i will write limit x tending to 9 then i will be writing a times 9 minus x plus tan x minus 9 over 3 times x minus 9 plus tan x minus 9 and power was 1 plus root x now once x is tending towards 9 once x is tending towards 9 1 plus root x is tending towards 4 it is not exactly 4 it is not exactly 4 it is tending towards 4 so there will be two cases very close to 4 we can consider let me write here 3.9 and 4.1 i am taking now our conclusion was minus a plus 1 over 3 plus 1 whole power if i will write here 4 this 4 was either 3.9 or 4.1 point is once this bracket will be negative power with odd over even ratio it would be complex valued number let me explain here how it is our answer was a0 and a2 let's apply a0 it will be 1 over 4 raised to the power now either we will write here 3.9 or this value will be 4.1 because of our base or this bracket is positive it will give us true result correct result but what will happen in case of a equal to 2 let us apply a equal to 2 here so i will write minus 2 plus 1 so minus 1 over 4 and power is 3.9 so i will be writing here 39 over 10 now you can see if any base with negative magnitude negative number minus 2 
raised to the power odd over e1 then this value will be always complex number we can check by example let me write here minus 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 1 is odd 2 is e1 so this is nothing but square root minus 2 complex number complex value if i will write minus 3 raised to the power 3 over 4 so it is nothing but this odd will make this base always negative so it will be minus 27 raised to the power 1 over 4 so this is fourth root of negative 27 this will generate complex number complex value so on this ground we will reject a equal to 2 this will be rejected only real value of a which we will accept it is a equal to 0 and this is our true answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye